Good morning. This is my daughter, Meryl, and we're here to persevere. That's right, because we have perseverance. For a definition, let's go over to my brother Emmett at the dictionary desk. Emmett? So, I think that perseverance is like to keep trying even when there's repeated obstacles or failures. Good. So we all know the tortoise beat the hare, right? Mm-hmm. But do you know why? Was he more talented? No. no. Did he cheat? No. So how did he do it? The tortoise, despite all odds, even though he was pretty convinced that he was going to lose, he still tried. That's the point. He still tried. Mm -hmm. Perseverance allows you to win in life even if you're not the fastest, smartest, or most talented person in the race. All you've got to do is learn to love a challenge and never give up no matter how many setbacks you encounter. And of course, I have a story to illustrate. A story pulled from our archive of amazing Americans about the power of perseverance. Girls and boys. Kittredge Elementary in North Andover, Massachusetts was honoring three former students. <laughs> Alex Gamble, Kira Brown, and Celia DeSalvo had just graduated from high school, but the present they left behind when they were here is still all anyone can talk about. The kids started working on this gift unwittingly. It was 10 years ago. They were in second grade and out here on the playground during recess when one of them saw this little rock, or what looked like a little rock, sticking up out of the ground. So we kind of thought, we were like, oh, we should just like, we found some sticks, we're like, oh, let's just dig this out of the ground. They were out there every recess. Richard Cushing was principal during much of the excavation. And I have to tell you, their hearts were broken when, when the first frost appeared, you know, because they had to stop. But year after year, they returned to the project, digging mostly with sticks and plastic spoons they got from the cafeteria. The kids dug down through second grade, third grade, fourth and fifth, until finally, just before moving on to middle school, they finished. The principal brought in heavy equipment to lift it out of the hole for them. That was 2008. And now, these three are like rock stars around here. It was just in the ground, sticking out a little bit. Partly because of the accomplishment itself. Try digging out something like that with just a plastic spoon. But mostly for what the rock has become. It's evolved into something that we never could have imagined. Today, some kids say this rock has the magical power of making friends. It's a beacon to some of the students out there who get picked on. And they like go and sit on the rock and like by the end of recess, someone will go sit with them. I waited there and then eventually some kids came and that changed my life forever. Walter Wanyueke is a firm believer in the power of the rock. When I made those friends, it felt magical. I thought I would just sit there alone on recess. Then friends came by. This is an amazing rock. Mm -hmm, it is. You'll never forget that rock? No. Not as long as I live. When those three started digging, they say they used to wonder if one day they would uncover a buried treasure. And now we know they did. And of course, none of that magic would have happened if those three hadn't persevered. Joining us now, Alex, Kira, and Celia. Hello. Hi. Hey. hey guys, hello. I think a lot of kids would have given up when they started to see how big that rock was. What kept you going? You know, we weren't really thinking about the big picture at the time. We were just taking it one step at a time. And we had to see it through, because we're just those types of people. What were the obstacles that you faced and like what tried to stop you? So many of the people at school kept telling us we couldn't do it. So that gave us some motivation to prove to them that we believe in ourselves, even if you don't, and we're gonna get this done. What's the difference between perseverance and obsession? Because it seems like you guys were kind of walking a fine line here. I think it is the fine line that you need. It's like if it's a creative dream, you really have to be obsessed in order to have the level of like perseverance to get through and like make it out on top. If I'm ever locked up in Alcatraz, I know who I want in my cell with me. <laughs> <laughs> Hit us up anytime, Steve. We're here for you. Thank you for joining us. I really appreciate it. It was great to meet you guys. Yeah. You know, if perseverance can give you the power to dig a boulder out of the ground with a plastic spoon. You can probably do anything. That's right. Good luck unearthing your next treasure. And don't forget to stay kind.